Let me read this one section that I about my Cecil's life in uh, uh, Sitka. I can find it really fast here. Um, of course, when I have to <laughs> find it fast. Uh, and this is in Cecil's voice, but it's one of the things that he and I both share. Uh, and it just starts out, I love Sitka. There are 8,000 people, 12 miles of road, and two main streets. It had once been the capital of Russian America. To me, it's a town full of mystery and wildness. It's so crowded by the wilderness of steep mountains, thick woods, and ocean that a person can have the sensation on the same afternoon of either floating away or taking root. Great upwellings of ancient basalt and three-legged dogs on the streets. There are gulls and merlets. Cormorants lift their wings to dry their inky black feathers in the sunlight. Puffins with colored tufts like gypsy scarves. Humpback whales feed on the herring that are feeding on the affluent from the pulp mill. Pickup trucks and Subarus everywhere, everyone on their way to a meeting or a softball practice. Four kids with canvas jackets and earrings with their hats on backwards, standing in the doorway near the Russian cathedral looking bored. An old man walking outside the pioneer home in the middle of town wearing pistols holstered on the outside of his pants. Occasionally a brown bear in the cemetery or deer swimming in the harbor. The cathedral, the jagged ancient mountain, like a background to all our arguments, priests, tourists, loggers, bureaucrats, fishing, even fishermen, even an amateur whore or two, and one full-time private investigator. <laughs> and that's Cecil. That's Cecil. <laughs>